All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be brief because we are talking about apps. Uh, specifically, we want to answer the question, what is an app within Salesforce? And luckily for us, um, this is a pretty simple answer. And the correct answer is that an app is really nothing more than a collection of tabs. Uh, and those can be custom object tabs, standard object tabs, web tabs, any type of tab. But really, all that matters is that an application just defines which tabs are being presented. Now, an administrator can decide, um, based on a user's profile, which applications they'll have access to. So obviously, Salesforce comes with some applications out of the box, uh, such as the sales application. And as you know, the tabs that are available are home, leads, contacts, accounts, opportunities, etc. And all of those exist as an application because all of those tabs are used by a salesperson, for example, when they're going through the process of selling, when they are fulfilling the function of their job. So an example we could make for a custom application that an administrator could put together would be for logging expenses. So if, for example, uh, you are the type of person who travels for work and you need to expense things, probably you might expense your nights at a hotel or you might expense a meal at a restaurant. And you might need to be able to upload receipts, you might need to be able to create an expense report, you might need to be able to submit it for approval, you might need to be able to view all of those expense reports to see which ones have been approved, which ones were not approved, which ones you still need to fill out, etc. So it makes sense that if we're creating custom objects to, to hold those expense reports, for example, and to provide all that functionality, we might put all of those into their own custom tabs. And then we might put all of those tabs into an application so that we're bundling all of that functionality together to make it easier for the user to access all of that. From there, we can decide, like I said, through the profile, which users have access and those users will be able to see it appear if they're using Salesforce Classic in the drop-down menu or if they're using Lightning in the app launcher. So that's all. It's really simple. Um, application is kind of a loaded word because it means so much these days. Uh, and it's commonly associated with applications on your phone, for example. But really, the thing to remember is that an application within Salesforce, although the word can still be used generally to mean a lot of things, an application, when we're talking strictly about Salesforce administration and development, is simply a collection of tabs. So that's all for this one. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.